Hi everyone, my name is Janine Colavito. I'm an executive and Christian life coach and founder of Letter from Christ. Today I'll be sharing with you John 16, 31. We can think about what wisdom that we want to gain from that verse to apply it to our lives right now. Do you now believe? Jesus replied. That's a short and sweet one today, but it is powerful. Jesus is asking, do you now believe? What else are you going to need for you to believe in me? Right? So that is the question I have for all of us today. Do you now believe? And is there anything that's holding you back in faith? We all always have something. We all have something that, you know, just kind of knocks us off a little bit from time to time and how strong our faith is. It tests our faith. But no matter where you are in your faith journey, if you've been a Christian your whole life or you just right now are seeking, what is this Christianity all about? There is a way for you to move the ball forward. So what is it for you? Where are you in your faith journey? Where do you want to be? Now, if you're someone in the middle who says, well, you know, I believe in God, but you know, there's a lot of stuff in the Bible that's really hard for me to get my, wrap my brain around, this rising from the dead, healing the sick, you know, but I believe in God, and so, you know, I'm good where I'm at. What's holding you back from trying to get a deeper understanding? Have you asked questions, really challenging questions, around the things that are the hurdles in your faith journey? If not, why? What do you have to lose? What are the things that are the hardest for you to wrap your brain around? And have you sought or started to seek out those answers? There are answers out there for you in a variety of different ways. Um, if you go to letterfromchrist.com in the shop tab, you'll see tons of resources there that you can browse through. So no matter where you are in your faith journey, whether it's an NIV study Bible or Purpose Driven Life by Pastor Rick Warren or some of Tim Keller's books that have really um, great intellectual arguments from some people that have a hard time believing in some of the, the strongest, the foundations of our faith. There are resources there for you, and we want to be a resource for you as well. So if you have questions, put them in the comments. If you have a friend who's Christian, give them a call up, ask them some questions, or ask them to put you in touch with someone who has them. God does not shy away from challenging him, asking questions, seeking to get closer to him. If you seek him, he will help you find him and get closer to him. So wherever you are in your faith journey, what could be holding you back? What's challenging your faith right now? And what are you going to do to move the ball forward today? All right, everyone, I am going to leave you with that. Have a blessed and abundant day full of curiosity with this how to get closer to God. Take care, everyone.